Hey friends, how are you? What have you been doing this week? How have you been? Have some of you been outside more? Maybe some of you are riding bikes or going by the river or playing outside in your backyards. I heard from some of you this past week when we got to be in the atrium together that you have a new swing set in your backyard and maybe that's true of some other families too or maybe you've gotten to go on other kinds of adventures. Maybe you've been able to read a new book or you've been able to try something new that you've never tried before. I hope that you get to do some things this week that bring you joy, that feeling inside us that is like light just bubbling up and coming out. That's how I feel when I get to look at birds, when I get to play with Jack and June and Joanna, my kids, and when I read a really good book or feel the sunshine. Those things make me feel like there's this light inside me that's just bubbling. Maybe you remember we talk here in the atrium a little bit about the light of God the light that Christ shares with us in our baptism, and the light that he shares with the whole world when he came to be with us. Maybe you remember that when we light a candle in the atrium, we light it when we read from scripture to remind us that scripture is the light of God. Today, I have just this icon of our Good Shepherd, and I have the prayer card for peace. It just says peace. It does have a little drawing. I started to draw a dove because often when we think about the Holy Spirit, when we think about peace and calm, we think about a dove. Sometimes I like to come here. Maybe you like to go to your prayer table at home and just listen. Sometimes I can talk a lot and I can talk a lot to God. But the prayer table is a place where even when we don't have things to say, we can still come and listen. We can have time at our prayer table that's just listening time. A time for us to be quiet and think about God or ask God questions in our hearts or just feel peaceful. Maybe today is just a listening day for you. Those are really good days. Some days I have so much to say, and some days I really just want to listen and be with God. So maybe you remember that in the atrium, we can always just be with God by making silence or sitting quietly and working on an art project or even just being with one of the works here. We can sit with the good shepherd and the sheep and just listen. Some of you like when we ring the chime to make silence. So today I think I'll ring the chime. Okay, make some silence with me. I love the way that the chime, even when it sounds really quiet, is still echoing. I thought that I would share a new song with you. 
to finish up our time at the prayer table. This is a prayer song that I pray and sing sometimes when I want to feel really close to Jesus. This is a way that we can pray before we take communion. When we get to take communion, either by being together in our hearts or when we get to be together in person. And it goes like this. Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The bread is on the table. Lead me to you. Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The wine is on the table. Lead me to you. Maybe this week, if you want to feel a little closer to God, you could try singing that song or going to your prayer table just to be quiet and listen. Or you can talk to God about anything. I miss you. Every week I pray for you by your name and I remember you here at our prayer table. I will see you soon, I hope. Bye friends. <laughs>